Hey everybody, welcome to CRNT Designers. This is Chetan and in this Blender tutorial, we are going to create a curved surface design. We are not going to create the 100% similar design as per the reference image, but we are going to learn the process of creating something like this. So without further ado, let's get started. To create this kind of design, you need to add a plane. Then you need to scale it along the Y axis. Then add the center loop cut. And now I have added one cube add there. And then you can select its words and then merge them at the center in this way. So you will get this kind of triangle. Then just apply the scale and then select that edge and then control B and add a bevel on it. Add 10 to 12 segment bevel and give the proper bevel width. Then you can adjust its scale and scale it along the Y axis because I want that ellipse form along the Y axis. So that's why. Then I have added sub D modifier on that because I need more segment and then you can delete these faces so you will get this kind of curve form then add supporting loop cuts add there in this way and then you can apply that sub D modifier so you will get more subdivisions add there you can delete these faces those outside faces you can select these edge loops and then press F to fill the gap means you need to fill the gap completely and then you can use the boolean operation which is slice so I will get the cut at there on that plane so you will get this kind of shape at there then just merge the double words and delete one side of the model then you can use knife tool at there and you can create this supportive cuts and it is very important to have this kind of cuts After creating this kind of cuts, you can merge the words one more time and then you can take the symmetry along the X axis and then you can select this H loop and you can move this H along the Z axis to build that curve form and you need to create that slope form so that's why you need to adjust the position of the words along the Z axis little bit and you will get this kind of form. You can increase its heights if you want then then you can add more supported loop cuts add there and use the set flow on those loop cuts and then connect these loop cuts properly to maintain the good edge flow you will get this kind of form that's look good then I just want to create more design on this form so that's why I have selected these faces then you can use the insert operation on these faces and make sure you avoid that border option and here I need to add a few loop cuts little bit I just want to create the little bit of curve shape add there so that's why I have given the right position to these words to create that curve shape. Then you need to create the right topology add here so that's why you can connect these words in this way and try to maintain the good edge flow add there on the model. Now we have got the right topology and right form add there on the model so I can select these faces and make a different object from those faces. So I have got three different objects at there. Then select all these objects and add the sub D modifier on them. Then you can use the knife tool to create that supporting loop structure at there. And create that simple curved loop structure from both sides, from inner side and from the outer side of that main edge loop. Then you can add more supportive loop cuts at there to maintain the good form. <clears throat> then use the knife tool and create this kind of cuts. Then select this edge and extrude it along the Y axis and then you can use the knife tool add there and you can create a slant cut. Then you can delete these face loops 
and then you can take the symmetry then use the knife tool and create a design at there means those cuts then you can select these faces and then press P for the selection to make a different object and here also you need to create that supportive structure To bend this object, I need to add a lattice. So add the lattice and adjust its scale along the different axes and try to match its scale according to the scale of that object. Then you need to add lattice modifier on all the objects and choose that lattice objects in that lattice modifier. And then you can increase the resolution of the lattice. Don't give too much resolution, give less resolution so it will be more easier for you to bend this object you can bend your form by moving few words means those few points in this way so just i have given the resolution somewhere around 5 and you can bend your form in this way by moving those words of the lattice and you will get something like this and now you need to apply that lattice modifier on all the objects and you will get this kind of decent looking form now select everything and then E to extrude it and extrude it along its normal to add the thickness. And now you can see we are getting the decent looking form. Means you can see those borders, edges, cutouts and all these things. If you want to add more details on the model then you can select these faces with the shortest path selection and you can extrude them along their normal. So you can create that edge, that border add there. You can see, that's look good. Yes, and then add supportive loop cuts at there to maintain that form. In this way you can create this kind of curved surface form. So that's it for today, thanks for watching, if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye, see so you next video, take care.